one time when we were dating, Philip came over my house, told me he'd be right back, and never returned. Dude, you know why. Let me let me just tell no, you. No, no, I didn't know why at the time. So set the scene right. All right, so this was my senior year of college. And you came over and we were supposed to study together. Yeah, I came over to Amber's apartment. We were supposed to study. This was in the beginning of the semester. And we're doing homework. Yeah. We're laughing, having a good time. So. Okay, then out of the blue, he gets a phone call. I'm Amber. And I'm Philip. And we've been married since 2013. And we have some. <laughs> we started dating-ish. Heavy on the ish. Heavy on the ish. <laughs> In college. And it's been an interesting ride. We got some <laughs> funny stories that we want to share. We do. Just from our journey of us dating and all of that. These stories kind of defined our relationship and our dynamics. Yeah. Amber, she she really drug me through the mud, man. She really made it Baby, hard for me. now. You know. She, Not the truth. She did your boy wrong. We had a relationship, okay? And I knew my value and my worth, and I wasn't standing for no mess. Indeed. So this is one time, time when we were dating. <laughs> this is one time when we were dating. One, one time, time when, when we, we were dating. dating. <laughs> one time when we were dating, Philip came over my house, told me he'd be right back, and never returned. Dude, you know why. Let me let me just tell no, you. No, no, I didn't know why at the time. So set the scene right. All right. So this was my senior year of college. And you came over and we were supposed to study together. Yeah, I came over to Amber's apartment. We were supposed to study. This was in the beginning of the semester. And we're doing homework. Yeah. We're laughing, having a good time. I'm help, really helping him with his homework. Yeah. So I'm doing you a solid anyway. Right. So. <laughs> okay, then out of the blue. He gets a phone call. This was like nine, maybe. Was it that late? I don't think it was that late. I think it was maybe eight or nine. Okay. Maybe. Okay. It was nighttime. Okay. It was dark outside. It was dark outside for sure. Okay. Then. So I get a phone call. Mm hmm And I was not expecting this phone call at all. Okay. But when I got this phone call, this phone call said that I needed to be at this certain place at this certain time, and I needed to get there, you know, pretty much as <laughs> soon as I can. And- Expeditiously. Expeditiously. <laughs> but uh, this phone call was- But wait, before you say who the phone call was for. Okay. So, Phil gets this call. I, I could tell that it was a guy yeah. on the yeah, other yeah, yeah. end. Yeah, it, it wasn't a girl or nothing like so that. So when no. he said that he would be right back, I wasn't tripping. I just kind of assumed, oh, it was a friend in need. He had to go do it. Philip is such a good friend. I expected to be right back as well. So he leaves. Uh huh. Philip does not come back. He. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm no biggie. So I'm honestly finishing his homework. I did a little of my homework. It's nighttime. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go take a shower. He still ain't came back. I didn't roll my hair. He still ain't came back. Now, when I put the rollers in my hair, I knew whenever he did come back, he wasn't coming in. See, but this was the thing, though. What's the thing? I told you I'd be right back. Right back. And I came back before the next day, at least. You probably came back at 11.50. Probably. Probably at 11.50. I was in the bed. Like, at this point, he was gone so long, I've literally gotten myself ready for bed, done everything I needed to do, and I got in the bed. Hair rolled, bonnet on. I was like, oh, absolutely not. Then I get a knock at my door. <laughs> and he all hyped and loud. Well, I was excited. I mean, it makes sense now. <laughs> but okay, let me tell y'all who, who called. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a hint. So ring a ring a ring. Hey, uh, don't nobody my get that if they're not a part of it. To ring. And my DP replied, I was chosen to pledge Omega Sci Fi. <laughs> that night. <laughs> that night. And I didn't have a clue that it was going to be that night, that time. I just got the phone call and he said, Hey, 
he as in my DP said, hey, you need to be here at a certain time. Uh, and you know, if you've ever been through this process, you know, when you get that call, you gotta go. <laughs> you got to go. <laughs> you got to go, like ASAP. So. so he didn't tell me, okay, we were dating, but you know, ish dating. Yeah, we weren't together. Dating. So he <laughs> right. So he didn't tell me any of that. No. Had he said that, I would have definitely understood. But he was just like, I gotta go. No, like you're not supposed to tell nobody. And you're supposed to tell me. No. <laughs> I didn't tell Amber at all. My entire process. His like, entire time he was online. He did not tell me she he was didn't online. Know. He wasn't my boyfriend. She gotta put two and two together at the at the latter part it around was the time probably it was supposed to come out. Maybe three weeks in. It was earlier. Yeah. When I put two and two together, and so then I wasn't as annoyed, but still I was like. You would, you just wouldn't, you just gonna let me think whatever. See, this is the thing. Boy. What's the thing? I knew that you were always gonna be there. So when I got done, you would embrace me with open arms. So you was just gonna let me think whatever in the meantime. I knew you weren't going nowhere. Oh, did we? That was the best thing smoking on that camera. Boy, boo, boy, boo. <laughs> so, anywho, that's what happened. Then he comes back to my apartment. All hype. Now I get why he was so hype. He was excited. I was thrilled. And I, I literally wouldn't even let him in the door. I grabbed his backpack yeah. before I opened the door. Here you go. Get your stuff. Goodbye. Now this is deja vu. Because now she didn't kick me out. But this time, she didn't even let me in. So I didn't kick you out. So I'm like, dude, what is going on? <laughs> no, I said I'd be back. No, because you were wrong for that. I, I get you had to leave and you had to handle your business. But for you to just abruptly leave my house at night, come back three, four hours later, and thought you were just going to come back in? Absolutely not. And not give me any explanation? Nothing. I just thought we was going to pick up where we left. Absolutely not. <laughs> and I finished your homework. I was pissed. I should have erased it. I was so mad. Well. Anywho. <laughs> this is one time when, when we, we were, were dating. dating. 